Hi everyone, my name is Mariah and welcome to my channel, Totally Spines. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a March book wrap up plus April TBR. So without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, March was a very heavy book slump for me, so I only managed to read one book. And that is Actor Age Eve Brown by Talia Hilbert. It's the third book in the Brown Sisters series. Uh... I had the other two books, but I did not read them. Well, technically, I read the first one, which is Get a Life, Chloe Brown, but I didn't finish it. I put it down, and I haven't picked it back up. Um, I was really interested in reading this one, because I think Eve sounds very interesting. And I, I just needed something to read. So I, I read this one. So I believe my reading for this book is 3.25 stars maybe no I'm gonna stick with that 3.25 stars uh, it's about a 26 year old woman named Eve Brown and she has to figure out what she wanted to do with her life uh, her parents basically says like you need you really need to start acting your age you need to have a career and she doesn't take it well so she decides to just leave and she stumbles across this bed and breakfast that is run by jacob wayne who's just very anal about things and um she ends up hitting him with her car and he needs a chef and she happens to bake and cook very well so she ends up staying and uh romance develops between the two even though it was a nice book, I technically, I don't think I would recommend it if you want like, like a deep romance kind of thing. And I feel like it was a slice of life type of romance. I did like the autism representation. I mean, I don't know too much about it, but um, I, I feel like it was very gentle with it being written in this book. So um, yeah, there was that. And... Jacob fell in love with her after two weeks so okay so the first book that I want to read for the month of April The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James this is my second book by this author I read The Sundown Motel and I believe I gave that one four stars this one I, this one's like a true crime type of paranormal mystery thriller so if you're interested in that kind of thing this might be for you so this is about a woman named Shay Collins, who's a receptionist, but she moonlights as a true crime blogger, and she likes to talk about cold cases, and her website is called The Book of Cold Cases, and most notably is the Lady Killer case, where two men are killed execution style, and it's believed that a woman named Beth Greer cured, uh, killed them because a witness happened to see her leave the scene and she ends up being acquitted of the murder charges but people still believe that she killed them and she lives in this mansion and she's just there by herself so a chance meeting where Shay runs into Beth and Shay's like can I interview you I want to know like from your side like what really happened kind of thing so Beth agrees Shay goes to her mansion and weird things start to happen like you know cupboard doors start opening uh the faucet turns on um she's seeing she's seeing people that are not there kind of thing so uh it's definitely pretty interesting i did start reading it i am on page 78 and i like it so far so i'm very interested to figure out the mystery who killed those men why is this house haunted kind of situation the next one is Happy Endings by Hien Kim Lam. So this is about a woman named Trixie who has a sex toy business and she wants to prove to her very strict Vietnamese traditional parents that she can su succeed and be successful in this type of career in a non-traditional way. And everything's going well until she runs into her ex Andre who broke up with her by post-it note. He has like some situation going on himself where he's trying to save um, his family's restaurant 
and they decide to join forces where you know people will come to his restaurant for soul food and then you know if they're horny they'll get her sex toys <laughs> so so uh yeah it's definitely a pretty interesting type of second chance romance so yeah there's that one the next one is the secret to love health and money by Rhonda Bryan I am doing the 75 soft challenge and you know it requires you to read like a you know a non-fiction book that's self-help I did start reading it next book is gone too far by Natalie D Richards this is the second book that I have by this author the first one that I have is seven dirty secrets and I particularly did not like that book and I just happen to have another book by her that was on my shelf so I'm crossing my fingers that this one is good so that way it will kind of redeem me not liking the other book so this one's about a, a high school girl named Piper who stumbles across this mysterious notebook that has secrets uh, of her classmates and then some random number starts texting her trying to promote her to release those secrets so yeah there's a mystery for you the next one is a trilogy it's the market of monsters trilogy by Rebecca Schaefer the first book is called not even bones the second book is called only ashes remain and the third book is called when villains rise so it's about this young woman named Mita who captures supernatural beings and put them in the basement and her mother ends up killing them and they sell the body parts to the black market and Mita decides to spare the life of a young supernatural boy but that backfires on her because she has to end up going to the black market herself to be sold um, there's something odd about Nita because she's not technically human but she's not really supernatural either so it's kind of weird that she ends up on the black market this series is well this first book is about her escaping I'm not sure what the other two books are but I don't want to read what they are because I don't want to spoil anything but yeah this one is about survival and escaping so uh, I think this would be pretty interesting since there are supernaturals that are in this world so the next one is House of Marion by JL a lot of authors that people may know have commented on this book like Ali Hazelwood Alex Astor Sabah Tahir uh, Mary Lou Karen M McManus but anyway it's about this young girl named quail she's 17 she's on the run with her mom because quail has these dark powers but an assassin ends up finding her and somehow she ends up in this like some debutante society called the order where Basically, she has to go through three trials, and if she succeeds, she can, I guess, have like a wish granted where she can remove this dark magic that she has. And it's like a, a romanticy, a modern day romanticy. So, her mentor and assassin in training is brooding and is giving her issues. So, yeah, it's like one of those type of situations. So I'm very interested in reading that. It's going to be a series. So um, here's to that. And the last book that I want to read is The Night Swim by Megan Golden. I did start reading this one as well. So I'm in the middle of that one. This one, I am on page 54 or 55. I forgot. But basically... This one is another true crime-esque type of mystery thriller. This one is about 
a true crime podcaster named Rachel who goes to a small town to live capture uh, a trial that's going on about a, a swimmer who is accused of assaulting the granddaughter to a police chief and you know the town is divided you know how the victim blaming happens and all that other stuff so they're trying to figure out like what really happened with that and she wants Rachel wants to report on that on her podcast so she goes to the trial records her notes records the episode edits it and uploads it for the next day and stuff like that so on 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 and on so forth and whatever and in addition to that she gets mysterious notes from this woman named Hannah who wants her to investigate that she wants Rachel to investigate the death of you know Hannah's sister that died of drowning when Hannah was like eight or something I think she was eight or ten or something like that and it was ruled an accident but Hannah believes it wasn't so she wants Rachel to investigate and based on me reading so far you get Hannah's perspective as well as Rachel and Hannah Hannah the death of her sister and then her mom dying like like shortly after I think it really messed her up because reading her perspective she sounds like a person that develops parasocial relationships kind of thing based on how she currently it is being read okay she sounds kind of creepy to me yeah yeah so these are the books ow okay so these are the books that I'm gonna try to read but anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this video um, or at least got some book wrecks on your list and I'll see you in the next video bye